What's up? Welcome back to the garage. In this video, I will try to do my best and I will try to uh, change to my GTI these uh, tie rod ends. But before the actual work, I will show you some parts I have uh, just got from the, from the mail and we ha even have one unbo unboxing to do. Soon we will do the unboxing. I received a huge uh, box from Scandix. Uh, maybe this can give you some hints. Assembly lube, red line for installation. Then I have a new uh, bulb for my daily. Uh, if you have watched my earlier video, I have done a, a tutorial video about um, how to change this bulb, so I won't do a new video about that, but I have to change it. And then I have uh, two diodes for Hyundai gets uh, extra beams, because uh, now I have uh, three uh, tips I will try, and uh, one of those are that I would, I would use these diodes. But I will do a whole video about that process too, but next we will do unboxing. I have an early Christmas. <laughs> uh, this set is for B20 Volvo engine. Uh, the whole bottom end gasket set. So that was perfect. I managed to get it from the Scandix. Then we have uh, bearings for crankshafts and uh, for the rods. But I will do a whole whole video about uh, installing and changing these. Um, I just first I just have to paint the block, and then I hope I could get a new camshaft so I could uh, assemble the whole bottom end at once. But uh, we shall see. In theory, this should be quite easy project. First, I just have to loosen this nut and uh, that nut back there. Uh, then I will use my special tool uh, to disconnect uh, the tie rod end. And uh, then I just spin it out. I just have to uh, calculate how many times it will rotate, so then I know uh, what position I will put the new one, but you will see that quite soon. This is not 17, this is 16. Yes! Yes! This should open quite easy. Yes! Easy busy. Now I will lose this one. Yes. Perfect. Like that. And now my special tool. Yes. This is 19. I like this tool a lot. It helps quite a lot in job like this. Yes. Perfect. Now this nut away. Like that. Now I just need 16 mil 
to here perfect like that now I will loosen a little bit that and now I will open the tie rod end yes and now I just have to calculate one Twenty-three. So it's the magic number is twenty-three. Now I take the new one, and as you can see, these are like identical. That's a great thing. <laughs> and I will just adjust the nut just about like that I think yep now I will I will use uh, this kind of uh, grease this might not be the the best this is a drive shaft uh, grease but I read from the instructions that this should be quite okay in this use also a little bit grease uh, I already uh, or I actually also first I planned to use uh, Loctite but I decided not to use it I just put the grease like that and now I just have to remember 23 <laughs> so one twenty two and twenty three yes okay it should be in right position yep looks quite okay to me and now the whole system back together like that and I think this is now this is 17 I just need to find the right socket this is 16 but it's 17 here and now in the right talk yes perfect now I just tighten this nut and I will hold this one so I need this is 22 at, at this point yes yes and now it's as accurate I can get it by my tools yes job done and now the second side now I managed to change both sides and the tie road ends are here and as you can see it was a good time to change this one this is from the co-driver's side and this one is the driver's side so you can see the both rubbers are almost gone so this was a good time to do this one or this job uh, now I know this that when I put my steering wheel straight I know this that there is a quite a lot uh, toe um, and I figure out how can I check it uh, I won't uh, do any adjustments because I I want to use a professional to do that <laughs> but I just want to may uh, I just want to know if um, if the toe is um, 
the same on both sides so I have done some arrangement <laughs> as you can see I have a string here and uh, first I will show you in theory how I have uh, calculated this uh, high-tech system the track in my Peugeot uh, front is uh, 1400 millimeters uh, in front and uh, rear it's a little bit less 1366 right <laughs> uh, so the difference is uh, 34 millimeters and uh, and the half of that is 70 millimeters so uh, here is my string and now I measured uh, the distance between the string and the center of the uh, wheel hub it's uh, at this point about 20 millimeters in front and then I added the 17 millimeters so it's uh, 37 millimeters here in the rear I will show you soon uh, but this way I think I managed to get this string straight so after that it's uh, possible to measure the distance between uh, the back of the wheel and the front of the wheel from the rope and then I know how much there is to tow. I have very simple tools and I, I just use this glass and uh, the distance is uh, exactly uh, 37 okay please focus uh, it's just uh, 37 millimeters and in front okay I hit the, hit the string but this is uh, exactly 20 millimeters yep and from this angle you can see the difference quite well now I measured I will measure the distance from the back of the wheel or alloy and this is about 1 1.3 about and the front of the wheel is about 20 sorry it's about 29 millimeters now the string should be should be straight I just want to make sure so it should be 20 millimeters from the from the hub yes perfect so oh, now I know that uh, string is straight yep and now I just measure the distance from the back of the wheel uh, right side it was 1.3 and here it is I think little less yep it's about uh, 11.5 millimeters and uh, front yes about uh, is it 30 about 32 millimeters so there's a slight difference between right and left side uh, and next I will measure the length of three threads from the both of uh, tie end rods I will show you and now in the left side the measurement is okay like this and it's uh, about is it 30 uh, <laughs> it's about 18 millimeters in the left side and now from the right side 
like that. So this one is, so this is about 15 millimeters. So we have a small difference. Next job is to take this car to the uh, specialist who will align the tires and make sure that it goes straight. Now we know that there is a slight difference between left and right side, so it uh, need uh, adjustment for sure, but I won't do that by myself. Next, I think I will go to have some lunch, then I will change the car. So it's uh, nice to have many projects, so I don't have uh, <laughs> too much spare time. But hey, thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and uh, comment down below. That would be great. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, do it right away. And also remember to press the bell. Thanks for watching and uh, see you soon.